Well, hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, let's talk about a proper superbike from Merida, and this time it's gonna be 2022 Merida Scultura Team. This is the fifth iteration of the Merida Scultura team, and this bike is a proper superbike developed with collaboration with their world tour team, which is the Bahrain Victorious, and this is basically the superbike they have been riding during this uh, Tour de France. So, of course, since this is the superbike, you have to expect the price to be pretty high. And for this bike, the retail price is going to be 7,750 British pounds, or I would expect about 10,000 euros or 10,000 US uh, dollars. So, when we talk about this Merida Scultura team, this superbike, I will say it immediately. This is currently the best bike on the market you can buy, specifically when it comes to the climbing bikes. So if we answer the question, who is this bike, bike for? So this is a proper example of a climbing lightweight racing bike, so stiff and lightweight. Of course, they have incorporated a little bit, you know, of the aerodynamically optimized frame and the fork and handlebar and the stem, but this is not the point of this bike. The point is to be light, stiff, proper uh, climbing machine, so keep that in mind. And when it comes to this kind of level of the bikes, this is definitely top bike on the market. I haven't seen anything yet from the competition. I'm looking forward to seeing what can Giant do and what can Canyon do later in the year, but for now, this Merida Scultura team is really creme de la creme. Of course, the retail price of 7,750 British pounds or approximately 10,000 euros definitely reflects that. Paint scheme on this bike, I mean, there's only one paint scheme to choose from. This is uh, this kind of Bahrain Victorious team paint scheme. I have to say it looks very nice, looks absolutely beautiful, no problems here. Personally, I would like that Merida offers multiple paint schemes on this bike just because it's a very, very expensive bike and it is their, you know, showcase bike. It is their creme de la creme bike. So now let's dive in and let's really see what do you get for your hard earned money of approximately, you know, 7,750 British pounds or about 10,000 euros or 10,000 US uh, dollars. As I said before, this bike was definitely developed in the collaboration with their professional team, so that's why everything on the bike is going to be top notch. So let's start with the frame and the fork. So you see the frame is the carbon fiber frame from Merida, and this is their Scultura CF5 carbon fiber frame. So this is the highest grade creme de la creme, best of the best that Merida can do. And also when it comes to the fork, the fork is the same carbon fiber Scultura CF5 fork, so absolutely no cutting corners on their carbon fiber frames in the forks. I've read somewhere that in the size medium this frame is about 880 grams, which is pretty light, I mean it's not the lightest in the world, but personally I always believe that uh, these kind of professional climbing lightweight bikes shouldn't be too light because then you usually have some problems with the carbon fiber frames in the forks. So top notch carbon fiber frame in the fork, this is of course with the internal cable routing, uh, maximum tire size is 30 millimeters, that's a 12 millimeter through axles both front and the back and the press fit bottom bracket 86.5 millimeters. Absolutely superb, I have no complaints here. And also keep in mind that the carbon fiber frames and the forks from Merida, they come with a lifetime warranty, which is absolutely superb. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike. So the wheel set out of the box is a Vision Metron 45 SL carbon fiber wheel set. Uh, 45 millimeters height of the rim. 18 millimeters uh, inner uh, width, and of course this is a wheel set for the center lock disc brakes. It is tubeless ready, and with this bike you're gonna get a tubeless tape, 
and the tubeless valves included. If we quickly jump to the Vision uh, website and check the retail price of this uh, wheel set, you will see that this uh, Metron 45 SL retails for 2006 euros. So absolutely, you know, eye-watering price for this wheel set and it is really creme de la creme wheel set. I was specifically kind of impressed with the total weight of the wheel set. They are saying that the total weight with the, I'm guessing this is going to be with the Shimano hubs kind of ready for the kind of Shimano hub system it's going to be 1372 grams which is a very impressive lightweight wheel set carbon fiber wheel set and the only thing I'm not sure here of course if you would buy this wheel set on the open market it would come with uh, Vision's own PRS hub system where they are saying it's a 72 tooth engagement ratchet system which is basically every five degrees of engagement which is absolutely i mean stunning i have no complaints about that and also it has a sixth seal cartridge bearings two at the front and four at the back with their two to one arrow bladed spokes but when you look at the specifications of this bike it seems to me that the Merida has fitted their own hubs onto this wheel set this is just something to double check with your Merida bike dealer is it really true that these are some kind of Merida branded hubs or the hubs are from Vision so this would be a little little kind of a small thing and maybe even a small complaint for me just to double check with your local Merida bike dealer except from that this Vision Metron uh, carbon fiber wheel set is an absolutely stunning wheel set with as I said total weight of approximately 1372 grams now let's talk about the tire so this wheel this wheel set is wrapped in continental grand prix 5000 tires superb tire and these tires are 28 millimeter tires both front and the back so i'm so glad that uh, <coughs> merida didn't cut corners here and didn't include 25 mil tires because these 28 millimeter tires are going to give you so much more air volume and you will have so much more smoother bike ride now let's talk about some of the <coughs> group set on the bike and it is going to be a superb Shimano's Dura Ace R9200 group set which is the latest greatest group set from uh, Shimano this is a semi wireless group set from Shimano and that means that uh, basically shifters are wirelessly communicating with the front mech uh, and the rear mech and the front mech and the rear mech are connected uh, with a cable and that cable runs to the battery uh, lots of questions have been asked uh, to Shimano why they didn't just move to the fully wireless system and Shimano still claims that this kind of semi wireless system is still much better if you want to achieve the top performance of the front mech and I truly believe Shimano because in my opinion still Shimano's Dura Ace especially this R9200 is the benchmark when it comes to you know group sets on the market before of course it was a classical Shimano's DI2 group set with a fully cables electronic group set now it's kind of a semi wireless group set but no worries it's a superb superb piece of kit so let's start with the crank set on this bike so this is the Shimano's Dura Ace crank set 5236 teeth and this crank set comes with the Shimano's power meter uh, I hope this is a dual sided power meter because again if you would buy this crank set on the open market Dura S crank set so the Shimano's R9200 it would come with the dual sided power meter so again I hope this is the case and maybe another little detail just to check with Merida dealer is it a dual sided power meter but again superb superb choice I absolutely have no complaints about this uh, crank set now let's move to the cassette and the chain so you see the cassette on this bike again Shimano's R9200 Shimano's Dura Ace cassette 1130 and of course it is paired as I said with 5236 chain rigs at the front so I'm not expecting any problems in climbing some steep mountains but I mean you will need a bit more power because as you see 1130 at the back 5236 at the front so okay a bit more power is going to be needed chain on the bike no cutting corners again Shimano's M9100 12 speed chain 
Shimano's Dura Exchain, superb, absolutely no complaints. I forgot to mention here that this whole new group set, so the Shimano's Dura Ace 9200 is a 12-speed group set. Before, of course, you had 11-speed group set, now it's a 12-speed group set. And when we come to the shifters, front mech and the rear mech, everything is Shimano's Dura Ace DI2 9200 group set, so I absolutely have no complaints here. They didn't cut any corners, it's a superb, superb uh, semi-electronic, uh, semi-wireless uh, group set. Now let's talk about the braking system on this bike. So you see, you are getting, again, a superb uh, Shimano's Dura Ace hydraulic uh, disc brakes, and these uh, come with the Shimano's RT900 braking rotors, top of the line, ice tech, ice frieza technology, 160 millimeter rotors both front and the back so absolutely no cutting corners and also one interesting thing here is that Merida is famous for their little cooling fins on the rotors to dissipate the heat which is absolutely a great solution and of course this is also included on these uh, Shimano Dura Ace uh, braking rotors. Now let's talk about the handlebar and the stem because this is a bit of novelty for Merida. They've included their one piece uh, carbon fiber handlebar and the stem so they call it the team sl1p integrated uh, carbon fiber handlebar and the stem of course they needed to do this for the aerodynamically you know optimized reasons but uh, to be honest i'm not a big fan of these integrated handlebars and the stem just because in the future if you want to replace this your choices are definitely going to be limited and also if you want to adjust your position on the bike like really precisely it might be a little bit challenging to adjust your position but it is what it is um, all the bike manufacturers are moving towards this kind of integrated handlebars and the stem and that's why merida has also done it uh, aerodynamical reasons and you are getting this team sl1p cockpit it is a carbon fiber piece which is of course great but again think about the future this might limit your choices in the future of this combo handlebar and the stem so just keep that in mind talking about the seat post on the bike again no cutting corners here this is the merida steam sl carbon fiber seat post 27.2 millimeters in diameter with their famous s flex technology and of course the good thing here is that it's a classical standard 27.2 millimeter seat post so even if you want to replace it in the future it's going to be absolutely easy to do it saddle on the bike is the prologo scratch m5 perfectly fine saddle and since the saddle is always a personal preference you might want to keep this one you might want to change it but even if you are changing the saddle it's gonna be nothing special there are so many you know cheap and good saddles out there so this is an easy piece to replace if you really really don't like it i was also expecting here that merida would give a total bike weight for this superb bike they didn't give it uh, currently on their website but i would expect for some size like 56 or size 58 or maybe merida would call it like <clears throat> you know medium large sizes i would expect this bike to be 7 point maybe 5 kilograms 7.6 kilograms so i would be really interested <clears throat> if somebody gets their hands on this bike or gets some more kind of inside scoop to see what is the total bike weight of this bike because i'm i'm expecting it to be really really in the region between like seven seven and a half kilograms so in a summary do i have any special complaints about this bike absolutely not i think as i said when it comes to super bikes on the market uh, this is the benchmark currently this is creme de la creme absolutely superb bike which is reflected in you know retail price of 7750 british pounds or approximately 10000 euros 10000 us dollars and i mean <clears throat> the only kind of small little things to double check with your local merida dealer are what are the hubs on these wheel sets is it a vision hub or is it some kind of merida's own hubs if they are merida own hubs just double check a little bit some technical specifications about these hubs because i hope that merida didn't cut corners with these hubs also just double check that the power meter with this dura s group set is the double-sided power meter except from that i absolutely have no other complaints and i still think that this is an absolutely superb superb super bike from merida 
let's see what the giant can do so i think this is gonna be it uh, for today i hope you like what i'm doing and if you do please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're always notified when i make a new video and as always i will see you soon in the next episode pura vida